Hey y'all, we are live. Figured I'd come on and do a working chat. It's been a while since I've done a working chat. So this should be fun. Got a bunch of decals and water slides and things that I am working on tonight. Um, bum bum. There we go. Wanted to pull it up, but mute it. Um, some of these things it's been it's taken me a little while to work on because I had to find a new epoxy to work with. The one that I was using wasn't working well for me, um, or my ability to breathe. So. That is so weird. Okay. Right now I'm going to get the water slides cut. And ready to go on their cups. And then I will... Turn the notification sound down. There we go. Alright, now I got that muted. My phone kept going off. And I actually recently changed my ringtone because I was sick of hearing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, now it makes a whole new sound. Hello, where are you coming from? Who's on? Say hello. The kids are watching TV in the room next to me. So, there may be a little background noise back there. Hey y'all, hey. Hey girl. Just working on some decals. Those two got messed up, so we're gonna trash them. Oh no, that one's not messed up. Hold that up. Very thankful that all that goes in there is paper. I messed up and printed one of these backwards. So, I can still use it. I just have to put it on a different way. Didn't think about that. Reprinted a whole nother one. So now I'm going to keep the one that I messed up. And print it in reverse. That's the great thing about clear water slide. I love this stuff. going to be working on your cup live tomorrow, babe. I'm doing good. Been a little stressed and a little crazy, but it's calming back down. Getting back into the swing of things. How are you? Alright, so that is the spare of that. That is for that. So who all's on watching tonight? Say hello. Let me know where you're coming in from. I don't want to use that one anyway. That one is too super sticky. So what did I do with my other one? I've been using that for a while because it was easily to ac easy access. 
Um, and I've been moving the office around. I'm not exactly satisfied with it yet, guys. So, ignore anything you see in the background tonight because I'm still moving things in here. Um, we're buying this house. And I'm going to have a storage building out back. And this is going to eventually become the shipping space only. Because that's about all that there's technically room for in this room. Um, so, things are a little chaotic in here right now. Awesome. What are we eating for supper tonight? So one thing that's absolutely amazing for decals and is super cheap, you can get it at Dollar Tree. I got this big, big Whopper here for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, contact paper. Clear contact paper. Especially if you are just putting it on um, tumblers or cups or stuff like that. That stuff is a godsend. Because it's not too tacky. Now if it's something that you intend to put on a car window, I most definitely would not advise using contact paper. Tried that one. It doesn't work so well. So, got a few things that I am decaling tonight. Um, this particular piece that I'm working on, this is a mom tumbler. And it, um, has water slides as well as decals. little sliver of a piece. No, I'm just going to go ahead and cut one. But yes, this stuff is a godsend when it comes to decals on things that you're working on as far as your own personal projects because it comes up easy enough but the vinyl sticks to it just the way you want it to. Alright, so I've got that one ready. I'm going to grab a bowl of water real quick. These are the water slides that are going to go on here with the um, word mom and the children's names below it. So I'm going to go grab a bowl of water right quick. Hold on for just a minute. Hey, babe. I got something to show you, too. I need you to send me your address. Black. Sugar Skulls. I had to look and see if it's right side up. Hold on. Yeah. Sugar Skulls. Navy. And Ami. So I need your address and I will get these sent out to you tomorrow. Alright. I'm going to grab a bowl of water. I'll be right back. Now I've 
grab the tumblers that these go to. Um, that one goes to this one. Now this one's going to look terrible, okay? But you got to realize that I had to sand it to death. I actually made a fix a boo boo video that I'm going to be posting on YouTube tomorrow. I actually sanded my arms off on this cup this afternoon. I had a turner that broke, that messed up, it was dying, I didn't realize it, and I kept trying to figure out what in the world was going wrong with this tumbler. Why does this tumbler keep doing this? I've never had one do this in three years. What is going on? Well, I figured out what happened. It was the turner. The turner was dying. So, the bottom part was extremely bumpy and raised and awful and quite pitiful. So, this will not look like this once I put the next layer of epoxy on it. It'll have its shine and it'll be all pretty again and the dull will go away. But that's what happens when you have to use a hand sander for an hour on a cup. So, just putting that out there for anybody who hasn't done tumblers and don't know. Alright, so I'm going to start out putting my mom decal down because I want to have it on before I put on the water slides. I had accidentally cut my paper right there. There we go. Okay, so I put too much spacing in my letters, but that's quite all right. down really well. What are you guys doing for supper tonight? We're having a kind of a do-it-yourself supper tonight. The kids kind of went and done their own thing after school for a minute with their friend or with a friend that we've hung out with a little since. Like, they're one of three people that we've visited and hung out with since COVID started. Sometimes it's hard to do it from the center out when you've got a letter like O and it's split in half. But we got it. No, 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 little one. I'm not ready for you to stick just yet. Y'all aren't very talkative. All right. So now I've got the mom down. Now I'm going to put the... Names in the middle. <coughs> oh, yummy. Oh, Subway. No, I'm not spending any extra money. But on Alex's birthday, I've still got a couple things to do for that. But we're going to buy this house in March. 
Um, and I'm super stoked, super excited about that. Um, but I need just a hair more cash in the bank than what I've got. So, I work very diligently and, hi Kevin, save what I make um, with the business and I'm going to do a lot of Etsy sales between now and then. I've been good. How have you been, Kevin? It's been a while since we've been on together. Just gonna burnish down the names of the children. See how easy that's just pulling right up. Oh, the satisfaction. I know that's going to look backwards to you guys. Oh, no, maybe it looks right. I mean, no. Mom is mom either way, but you yeah, know. And then this part will actually go back to looking like this. Once it's all done. And I actually, I can only put water slides on the top part. Oh, no. I need to epoxy again first. This is me thinking through the process live with you guys. Like, Oh, yeah, I'm going to need to epoxy it again because I don't want this to still be um, matte when I put the water slides on. Putting the water slides on with it being matte, the water, it will not clear up under the water slide. Oh, dude, that ain't good. You gotta take care of yourself. They told um, Gary the same thing with the high blood pressure. And he um, recently decided to go on a diet. They were talking about doing the weight loss surgery. Um, because where he has had two back surgeries and all that stuff... It's harder for him to move than most people. Alright. So we are still going to water slide. So I've got a water slide to put on this one. Um. But yes, I don't know if he's going to do that yet or not. But with like three blood pressure medications and eating a proper diet he has finally been able to start losing some weight like we were talking about it yesterday and he's like babe look you can actually feel it right here um and I was talking to Marie my best friend and she was like you should get a tape or you should use your tape measure because we don't have a reliable scale to kind of help him see where he's at and how he's doing, so thought I'd share that because we was talking about high blood pressure. It's taken us years to get his under control, though. That stuff's no joke. Alright, so now I'm going to let that dry. Situation. I will not get over 
dump that out when I'm not live anymore. Alright, so I'm going to put these decals together and put them on. Well, hopefully both of them together will help you. Might take a little bit to get everything back into some kind of normal. God love him. He worked on his forever. And that's actually, I think, part of the reason that he ended up with blood clots a couple years ago. So now I am weeding a decal to go on another tumbler. I'm going to be putting Country Roads Take Me Home on this one. High blood pressure seems to be pretty normal and like in the state of things today, who doesn't have some type of high blood pressure? High cholesterol? Well, we can't help. We like good food. That's how I feel about that one. I'll take meds for it, but can't help I like good food. But that was my granny's motto all of her life, too. Yes, yeah, sweetie, did you see my comment back? I told you that it was um ready to pick up so that it was ready anytime you were ready. Oh. Trying to make sure I need. I am soon going to be ordering a light box. I have heard lots of amazing things about them with weeding decals and now for fun and as a hobby I've really got into that diamond painting thing yeah. wrong arm they can't see that one I did the last one first okay <laughs> Well, Kevin, that's enough stress right there, love. That's enough stress to give anybody blood pressure issues. Okay, babe, that sounds good. I will have it out for you tomorrow afternoon. Going through and getting all the little bitty pieces. I thought I had pre-weeded everything. But I forgot about the two that I had in baskets. Separate from everything else. Woo, that's a long time, Bubba. Have you had a retirement plan that whole time? You should have. So the font that I chose is super duper thin. Of course. I like to do that to myself. I'll choose a super, super thin one. And then I will outline it.
Knowing good and well how complicated. That's about to make life. But I don't mind. I do it anyway. So how's everyone tonight? Doing pretty good here. We had a whatever night for supper is what we call it. When my fridge starts to get overwhelmed with leftovers, the kids get to make whatever. Find something as a leftover and eat it. If I don't do that, they will never eat the leftovers. Although I did get some of those containers from Amazon um, that can be frozen and can go in the microwave. Those have been pretty decent here recently. Yeah, brother, I don't know how you do it. Um, that's a situation all in itself that has been hard on people in that setting this year. I've got a lot of friends that work, um, in nursing homes and CNAs and different positions like that and... It has not been an easy year, that's for darn sure. So, hot topic of the moment. Did you take the vaccine? You would have been considered... Would you have gotten one? Working in the kitchen. Would you? I don't know. Awesome. Okay, that's what I was trying to figure out. Thank you. I'm glad you knew what I was saying. For me, personally, I am not going to. But, there is a very, very lengthy health story as to why. Um... For many years, I had allergies that couldn't be explained. Um, forced me to carry around EpiPens. I would break out in hives randomly, like, no reason whatsoever, going into anaphylaxis. The last time before I went to an allergist, I never could figure out what was happening and what was going on. So, before I went to the allergist, the very last time... It was like 7 o'clock in the morning. The first time it had happened during the daytime where somebody else, where I could inform a doctor. <coughs> and we, I went to the doctor and they sent me to the emergency room. And I had been to the emergency room a couple of times, but my doctor, my actual doctor, had never seen it. So they didn't understand what I was talking about when I would tell them what was happening. And so, they seen it that day. They gave me a shot of epinephrine and sent me over to the hospital. And they had to give me more when I got to the hospital. And the nurse told me at the hospital that he would not be able to save me with it very many more times. Um, that I would have to be super careful about what I'd done. And come to find out, I have a condition where my body is allergic to certain levels of stress. Including sickness. So, the immune response that the vaccine will create would naturally and automatically send me into anaphylaxis. Not lovely. Um, but I am curious about other people's views. I'm not going to fight or argue with anybody about their views on it. Um, I appreciate everyone, respect everyone, and their views about it. Um, so, yeah, I was curious. So, did you have, like, any reactions? Did you feel anything? Curious as to how...
Curiosity killed the cat, I know. So because I am reusing this one, it's giving me a bit of an issue. And I know that it does that sometimes. I just push my luck and try it anyway. But that is also why I choose to work from home. Having it in November was bad enough for me. Hold on just a second. I seen the comment pop up. And you know, I have heard a lot of people say that. <coughs> My lungs are still hate being hateful. Can y'all tell? Most of my longtime live viewers know I don't cough my head off like that. Yes. Um... And I won't let anyone else judge anybody here either. My long timers know that. Um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, their own thoughts. We are independent human beings. This is gonna be so pretty. Just saying. And the person that got it probably already had a weakened immune system. Oh, I wish I would put a background behind that. Too late now, Cletus. And see, to me, mild flu-like would be completely okay, because I've had the flu, and I've had COVID, and I know what both feel like. So, I think I'm going to have to redo the take-me-home part. Then he probably already had COVID, and it probably should not have got the shot, because what I was told um, by my local county health department nurse on my particular case with the kids and Gary and everybody else in the house that after we had it we needed to wait 90 days before we got the shot because it could potentially have an adverse reaction if you have ha have the COVID antibodies not 100% sure I'm not trying to spread any information but that's what I was specifically told as far as the people in my household Jimmy gonna come through like, hey y'all. Night. Love you. Good night. Love you. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take that bottom one off and put white on the outside and do the blue on the inside. So it'll look kind of like the top, but in reverse so that you can see it standing out over the blue glitter. Okay. It is a little frustrating, though, that once people know they don't feel good, they continue about their business. Uh, 
Um, I get it. When we first got it, I thought I had allergy issues. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That blue is clashing bad. You can't read it at all. Darn it. I've got another one over here that I need to put a final coat on. And then it's going to be ready. And that one is purposefully same tone. Alright, so... Another, there we go. I was like, wait a minute. I know there's something else that I need to work on. I didn't read this one either, but it's not going to be hard. I'm going to start with the tiniest, hardest part, though. One thing I've learned when I make my decals... Is to work on the hardest part of it first. Because if I mess that up. And I'm going to have to redo the whole decal. It's a little bit less frustrating. If I haven't worked the whole thing yet. And I'm going to show you what I'm taking out here in just a second. Oh, how am I going to keep those? Teeny tiny letters, teeny tiny dots. One of the reasons I must wear glasses while I work on decals is to find my teeny tiny dots. Okay, so there's that one. Come on, little dot. No. Come on, little dot. I need you to... Stay. Come on, baby. Stay. I see why you're not staying. Y'all, I just lost a little dot. Okay, so this is the bitty letters that I just pulled out of that. I have to keep the centers of my B's and the center of the, or my center of the B and the O. I love these opal vinyls. Somebody needs to order a shirt. I got the cutest chameleon HTV in. I am so in love. Alright, so here's part number one of this decal. It's multi-parts. So this is one of those I've done a special cut on. So half the word is in one color and half of the word is in the other. But it's divided top to bottom. Mm -hmm. 
I was about to say, wait a minute, did I not get it cut all the way? More tiny pieces. Okay. Get my OBT off here. This is for an OB tech. For those who don't know what OBT means. So, as I put this decal together, it will have a blue baby foot, a pink baby foot, and the girl's name in pink and blue. Super cuteness. I'll go through and layer it before I put it on the cup though. You should get one! Oh, I gotta show y'all. When, when I get done doing this, I will show you the HTV that I was telling you about. Oh, it is so cool. And yes, I know I'm such a vinyl nerd. But that's okay, though. Y'all love me anyway. Concentrate, concentrate, nope. Alright, that did not work according to plan, so we're going to try plan B. I forgot that the name was completely separate. Separate. So you're fixing to watch me rig this together to make it work. When I cut them completely different like that, and they are not going to be going back on the same paper, of that in but it'll be okay so her name is in baby pink and baby blue and then we've got a pink baby foot and a blue baby foot Putting some more paper. Right? Isn't it adorable? This is for one of those amazing people who help mommies have babies. No, 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 little one. Now, there you go. Yes, I talked to my decals in, in hopes that it's going to make them work with me a little easier. That is the hope, anyway. Okay. 
Okay. Peel the backing off the baby foot. And now I'm going to put it in one side of the heart. It is a little hard getting the decals to stick to the transfer or to the backing because it's already came off of one. It's like, what you talking about, lady? I don't want to do that. Dog, you need it corrected. Oh, it's adorable! Super stoked. With her name... I'm about done for tonight. Um, I am going to be putting lots of custom decal pieces and things up on the Etsy site. Um, guys, if you haven't yet joined the customer VIP or the customers and friends group, you need to do that. That is the place where I will be offering any great discounts, any deals, any input on items, any of that kind of stuff. That will be happening in that group. So, the people that are there will get the most say in kind of what we're doing around here. What's happening with ILM Boutique and all of that good jazz. Trying to get everything up out of my way. Um, I'll double check after the broadcast and let you know for sure. Um, but from, oh, that's what I was saying. From now on, everything that I post on this page will be going through our Etsy shops. I am in the process of creating a second one for Made So Easy, which is all of our homemade, hand-sewn um, items and projects. I've got several new things that are going to be coming out with that. I'm hoping to start to transition away from masks a little bit. I want to keep doing them, but I want to I'm going to work on some bags and different things um that will be helpful. Oh my god, this is adorable. Little 
BT. I'm in love with this. Really, 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 really in love with this. Alright. Now for the fun part. Double check that I've got that side shut down good. All right. Okay. 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 All of our regular products, though, we'll be going through the Etsy shop um, and the shops, basically. And so the discounts that'll be given there won't be able to be as big as if I just send you an invoice and you pay the invoice. So that's going to be the place to be in 2021 for all of the deals, steals, and to be able to put input on all of our amazing products. ta -da! I really like that one. Sweet. Alright. So, I'm going to get these started under epoxy. Now that everybody's going to bed. Won't be hearing from the children anymore tonight. It's bed 30. The teenage children. Well, they don't come out of their room. So, you know, that is what it, what it is. I got more mixing cups for epoxy in today. <clears throat> I have found a new one that I prefer that is amazing and I'm in love with it. Been trying a couple things out. Like, not gonna lie. This, I don't love so much. And let me show you what. This has four layers of that on it already. And if you see, you can still see the texture from the, this is a hydro dip. And hydro dips will always, always, always have this textured feeling when you first do them. Now I need to sand it, but it doesn't feel like there's enough on it to sand it. It is so super thin, I feel like, I feel like there should be more on it after that many coats. So, this Crystalac, I'm not exactly in love with. I'm not going to knock it. I'm going to keep playing with this on the side. This is one of those, hang it on a bottle dryer rack and let it dry and do its thing while other things are spinning and turning because we're not sure what's going to happen with that just yet. It's really pretty. The design that came out, out on it is absolutely gorgeous with the Hydro Dip. But the rest is not so gorgeous. Now, those vinyls that I told you I was going to oh, These have stolen my heart. Sorry. Yeah. The tape seals back down every time I open it. So we're going to go ahead and bend that over. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Are you ready? purple chameleon, so it's got a purple to gold effect. You can so see the computer there. It's got a beautiful purple to gold happening there. Gorgeous. Royal blue. 
and it transfers over to like a purple. Love that. And then, hold on, is this another? Oh, it is. I got two of these. So this one is purple to gold. Then I've got a couple different shades of green. So we've got this one that's more like that. Hold on. This one is supposed to be more like a normal green, regular green to purple flip. So I really love that one. And then this one is kind of like a froggy green. And it kind of goes gold. And then this one I would call more like the dark teal, deep teal colors. And it goes over to that pretty purple color too. Right! That vinyl though. And these are all shirt vinyls. I'm loving the flip-flop. Like, I remember back in the day, my kids hate to hear me say that, we called that candy paint on cars. Like, it was a flip-flop candy paint. That's what we called it. But, yes. So, send me a shirt design I can incorporate these into, and I'll take 15% off. Because then I want to also turn around and put it in the Etsy store. Alright guys, <coughs> that's going to be it for tonight. I'm sure y'all don't want to watch me just epoxy things for like the thousandth time ever. I feel like I always come on either A, for epoxy work, or B, for decal work, and like, that's it. But I'm scared of getting glitter all over everything and not paying enough attention when I glitter things. But, I do want to start making more cool videos, though. So, I'm going to go put some stuff in my frizzy, frizzy hair. Trying to get date weekend ready um so yeah probably valentine's night i want to come on and do a big sale we got teenagers so we'll be home at a fairly decent time and i think i want to do a live um sell for my anti-Valentine's friends. So, I want to start doing more lives between here and the group. Um, and my TikTok, actually. I'm enjoying TikTok. So far over there, I've got 1,853 followers and they are all sweet and encouraging. And it's nice to not deal with the negativity over there. So, but yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off here for the night. Thank you for coming on and hanging out with me. You know I truly appreciate you. And we will see you guys next time we go live. Our next live We'll probably be tomorrow during the day doing a business information live. So, bye. Love y'all bunches.